Right here you see Blake Johnson hitting serves before he received personalized video analyses from the OTI coaching team. His serve was reasonably consistent, but lacked power and was definitely not a weapon. Here is Blake serving now after he received multiple video reviews from the OTI coaching team and applied our method to improve his serve. As you can see, his serve improved dramatically and it is now a real weapon. In this video, we will show you two critical elements for more serve power that Blake improved on his serve and that you can also work on to generate more power on your own serve. As part of that, we will also show you how the tossing arm plays a crucial role in developing a powerful serve. But first, let's watch the initial serve analysis that Blake received on this video by OTI instructor James Ludlow. Hey Blake, this is James from the OTI coaching team. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm very excited to be taking a look at your serve. And the whole objective for us today uh, for the analysis is we want to identify the number one problem on the serve that needs to be fixed, then once fixed, we'll take the serve to the next level. So with that objective in mind, what we'll do first, like we always do, let's take a look at this in regular speed. And then from there, we'll slow it down and we'll take a closer look. Let's see here. And that shadow soon. And then with the ball. Okay. Slow it down real quick and let's just take a look at the shadow swing very very nice shadow swing like the you get into an excellent position here you have the tip of the racket pointed more to the right side palm of strings pointing down from there you move the racket right to left as you can see rackets moving right to the left get into an excellent racket drop rackets aligned on the right side tip of the racket is low leading with the elbow from there you swing up with the edge of the racket overall it looks very good now you can also see that with, when you add the ball, you are doing a great job with the right to left, racket drop, everything is looking great. But the main thing that's happening here, there's two things I want to make you aware of. The first thing is, when you're swinging up and through contact at this point, see how after contact, see where the palm and strings are pointing? See how they're pointing more down towards the ground. And they continue to do so as you complete the swing. That means you're not really internally rotating the shoulder and uh, prone it in the forearm. Instead, all the best players, what you'll see is they turn the palm and strings out towards the right side after contact in this direction. And all the best players do that. Now, one thing that could be hindering your ability uh, for, this in, uh, for this movement is the grip. Uh, ideally, we want to have the continental where the index knuckle and heel pad is resting on bevel 2. But if the heel pad moves anywhere over to bevel 1 or 1.5, it can start to make it difficult for you to internally rotate from the shoulder. So just double check the grip first of all, make sure that the index knuckle and heel pad are more towards bevel two, the true continental. That's the first thing. Uh, but then you just have to do uh, several drills. You can do the throw in the ball drill, that's an excellent one, since you can uh, first start very slowly without throwing. And when you swing up to contact and you swing through, the ball should be pointing out towards the right side as opposed to directly down towards the ground. So you're turning the palm out towards the right side. That's a very, very important movement on the serve. So that's the first thing. You also see it with the ball now. When you add the ball to the equation, you swing up and see where the palm and strings are pointing after contact. You do follow through on the right side of the body, which is nice. So the racket remains on the right side, but you're not really internally rotating from the shoulder. So that's the first thing uh, that I want you to work on. Now, to work on this, if you go beneath the analysis, there's some very uh, great drills in the course that I want you to go and watch. So go beneath the analysis, look under Project 1, and you can start to work on that. Uh, and just make sure you slowly build it up through the progressive system. That's the first step. Now, the second thing I want you to be aware of is the role of the toss arm. What happens is you disengage the toss arm too early, and you don't really use it effectively as you swing through contact. See, as you swing up to contact, see what's happening with the tossing arm. See how it's dropping to the side of the body. Now, why is this a problem? Well, what happens is, when you drop the tossing arm, the upper body just opens too early. And as you can see, the upper body is pointing more towards the direction of the left uh, neck post in this direction. Now, this can result in a lot of problems. It can result in a lot of inconsistencies on the serve. So what we'd like to see instead, you can see also, see the, 
the amount of balls which are uh, on the floor there so that tells me you've uh, missed a lot into the net and that's one of the reasons if you pull the toss and I'm down too early it'll open up the body and it will result in the swing pulling down so that's the next project is just making sure that the toss and arm remains tucked into the body in this position I should be seeing the hand appearing on the right side of the body and you want to keep it in that tucked in position as you complete the swing and you follow through and then when you reach this point then you can naturally release the body but by doing that it's going to promote an up and out swing path but also it will give you more racket head speed for uh, specific reasons it's called we call it post sim but we don't need to get into that right here i want to try and keep it as simple as possible so yeah project one is going to be working on that internal shoulder rotation turning the palm and strings out towards the right side that's the first project and then project two is just going to be working a little bit more on the role of the toss arm making sure it tucks into the body and prevents you from over rotating uh, by working on these two changes you're really going to transform your serve into a major weapon I really hope it all makes sense. If you have any questions on any of this, Blake, now over the coming weeks, please let me know. And yeah, I look forward to seeing your progress. As you can see, these were two critical elements at the beginning of Blake's surf transformation. He did receive more video reviews from us and also worked on other elements of the surf. The first personalized surf analysis is usually a breakthrough moment and leads to big improvements. However, most tennis players then see how effective this level of personalized feedback really is and decide to get it from us on a regular basis. Another thing we can see here is that Blake took great advantage of our recommendation to practice your serve away from the tennis court. Here he's hitting foam balls against the garage, here he is inside a squash court and this is incredibly effective because you take the result out of the equation and therefore as a player you don't judge the result of your serve so much and can really focus on the technique. So step by step he improved his serve technique with approximately one video review per month until we now see the end result which is a great serve with which he can really dominate matches. So how can you work on keeping your tossing arm tucked in? Here you see OTI Master Instructor Greg LeSeur explaining and demonstrating this. You want to keep that arm tucked into your stomach so that the hitting arm can fully accelerate. Okay, And you want to avoid that over rotation which you can see right here where the arm is already pulled out at contact. To do this we encourage you to begin with shadow swings. First you can do what we call a wrist over wrist movement. So the goal is to bring the wrists together in this position and that is the first step. Then in the next step you follow through a little more here. We call this the letter X or arm over arm movement. As you can see the arms down at the bottom form a letter X and working on it like this with the shadow movements is the first step. After you've worked on that, you then continue and you hit some serves down the line, usually from the service line, so that you don't care where the ball goes. And you really emphasize keeping your arm tucked in and executing this arm over arm or letter X movement, as you can see right here. So personalized video reviews from an OTI certified instructor are a real game changer. The personalized feedback allows you to fix only those elements of your stroke that once fixed will lead to you hitting the ball better quickly. This way you do not need to rebuild your entire stroke. Right now we have a special trial of our All Access Pass available for you. It not only gives you access to all our video courses and modules, but you will also receive your own personalized video analysis from an OTI certified instructor. Simply send us a video of the stroke of your choice during your trial and you will receive a voiceover video analysis with laser focused feedback on how you can transform that stroke into a real weapon. Simply click the link inside or below this video for all the details.